Okay, I'm going to do some multiplying with decimals, and I'm going to show you two different ways to multiply with decimals. This one that looks really funny over here is lattice multiplication, if you've never seen it before. You build a box that is as wide as your number is. So I have a two-digit number by a two-digit number, so I have a two-by-two two box. And then I draw these diagonal lines through it. So now when I multiply, I'm just going to do three times one is 3, and I'm going to put the tens place on the top and the ones place on the bottom. 3 times 8 is 24. 0 times 1 is 0, and 0 times 8 is 0. And then I add down the diagonals, so I have 4, and 3 plus 2 is 5, and then 0 and 0. Now to figure out where my decimal point goes, I'm going to bring this decimal down and this one over until they meet, and then I'm going to bring them straight down the diagonal. So my answer is 0 0.54. That's doing multiplication with decimals with lattice. Now to do it the other way, I'm just going to go ahead and multiply and ignore my decimals for now. So 8 times 3 is 24, carry the 2. 8 times 0 is 0, plus 2 is 2. I come down, I need a placeholder. 1 times 3 is 3, and 1 times 0 is 0. And I'm going to add those two together. And then to figure out where my decimal goes, I look up in my problem, and I have one number behind the decimal in this, the top number, and one number behind the decimal in the second number, which means I need two, one, two numbers behind the decimal in my answer. So I go ahead and place my decimal so that I have two numbers behind it. So in both cases, I get the same answer. So whichever one you're comfortable using is just fine multiplying with decimals.